Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and in today's class we will discuss something about the types of system calls that will come under first unit. And in the last class we have seen what is system call and how the system call is used to access the system resources through system call interfaces. And today we will discuss something about the types of system calls that is the different categories of system calls. The first one is process control, file manipulation, device management, information maintenance, communication and protection. Let us see all these things one by one in detail. First let us see something about the process control system call. We know the process is nothing but the running program. Running program or the program under execution is called as process. So here we are having a separate system that is system call for creating the process and terminating the process okay once we create the process we need to load this load that process into cpu then only we can execute that process so we are having a separate system call for load and separate system call for execute right right after executing we need to terminate that process okay so for that we are having end system call to end that process suppose if there is any error in the execution then we have to abort that process so the end process is to end normally and abort is used to, to terminate the process abnormally abnormally okay and the next one is get process attributes and set process attributes okay every process is having its own attribute okay. for example process id process name etc process size etc okay running time and these are called as process attribute so if you want to get the attribute of process then get process attribute system call is used simultaneously we are having set process attribute system call also to set the process attribute and next one is wait so this wait is used to, to wait for some time, wait for some time. For example, some milliseconds, the process execution should be holded. Okay, for that we have to use wait system call. And the next one is wait event. That is the process will wait for some other event. And next one is signal event system call. And next one is allocate and free memory. That is we have to allocate memory for the system call in the main that is main memory so we need to allocate some space in main memory for that process and after executing we have to free that memory that is free that process from the memory okay these are some of the system calls that will come under process control system calls the second category of system call is file manipulation system calls so in operating system we can use many type different types of files in our operating system so to manage those files we are having a set of system calls that will come under file manipulation system calls first one is to create a file and to delete a file we are having a separate system calls and to open the file we need to open that file for reading purpose and once the com reading completion then we have to close that file then read write reposition so read means we have to read that file write means we have to write the content into uh, file new file and reposition means we have to change the location of the file from one location to another location in the main memory that is called as reposition and next one is get file attributes so here file attribute means the file name name size and type and uh, all these things are file attributes so we can get the file attribute as well as we can set the file attribute system calls so these are the system calls that will come under file manipulation system calls the third category is device management system calls here the device is nothing but input and output devices so for executing a process sometimes it may request the devices 
for that we can use the system call request device system call and for releasing we can use the release device system call and for reading means through input device through input device we can read the data and through output device we can write the data okay this is reading system call and writing system call and reposition means we can reposition the content on the screen that is output device and next one is get device attribute and set device attribute system calls for getting and setting the attributes of devices that is input devices and the next one is logically attach and logically detach devices logically attach device means suppose i am going to insert my pen drive on the system then it will take some time then only it will give the message that the system is ready to use okay that is called as logically attach logically detach means if you remove the pen drive we can exit that pen drive then the system will give the message that now it is safe to remove the device okay so the physically attached pen drive is now logically detached we cannot use that pen drive okay so this is called as logically detach the device the fourth category is information maintenance system call here the information is nothing but the system information system information okay here we are having get time that is get system time and get date means get get system date okay for that we are having separate system calls simultaneously we can set the time set the date also set to the system date and set the system time and next one is set system data and get system data for getting and set, setting the system data and next one is get process get file get device attributes that that means get the attributes of process and get the attributes of file and get the attributes of devices system calls simultaneously we can set the attributes of process and set the attributes of file and set the attributes of devices also so for everything we are having separate system calls for maintaining the system information the next category is communication system calls communications means suppose two process want to communicate to each other that is this is p1 and this is p2 p1 and p2 want to communicate to each other for that we need to establish a connection okay so the connection create communication connection and delete communication connection for that we are having separate system calls this is communication connection and send message so how the communication will takes place through sending and receiving the messages isn't it so for send message and receive message system calls are there and transfer the status information that is communication status the message will be transferred from one place to another place and how the transfer will takes place the status will be taken from this system call that is transfer status system information system call and next one is attach or detach remote devices okay so the device will be connected to internet for that the communication system calls will be used okay this is one device and this is the another device that may be somewhere else okay so for that we have to attach that remote devices the last category is protection system call protection means we need to protect our resources from unauthorized users okay suppose more number of users can use our computer system computer system this is user 1 and user 2 user 2 is also connected here and user n user n is also try to access our computer system okay so more number of users are using our system simultaneously now 
the protection will provide the mechanism for controlling access to the system resources. And the protection was concerned only the multi-programmed computer system with the several users. That means more number of users can access the system resources simultaneously and each user is having a separate program. Okay, so this is called as multi-program. More number of programs can be executed simultaneously in a computer system. To protect the computer system or computer resources, we are having a set of system calls. First one is get permission and set permission. That is we are providing get and set the permission to the user and allow user and deny user. Allow the user to access the resources and deny the user to access the resources. So, these are the system calls will come under protection category. Up to this we have seen the type of system calls from first unit and the system call is an important topic from first unit you can expect one question for the university examination. Under this topic we have seen up to this the process control file manipulation, device management, information maintenance, communication and protection. So, these are the 6 categories of system calls which are used by the operating system. The next class we will see the system programming. Thank you.